You said you brought me here for a reason. Tell me what I need to do. The conduit is the key. Before the Reapers attacked, we Protheans were on the cusp of unlocking the mysteries behind mass relay technology. Ilos was a top secret facility. Here, researchers worked to create a small scale version of a mass relay. One that linked directly to the Citadel, the hub of the relay network. The conduit is not a weapon. It is a backdoor onto the Citadel. What happened next? We severed all communication with the outside, and our facility went dark. The personnel retreated underground into these archives. To conserve resources, everyone was put into cryogenic stasis. I was programmed to monitor the facility and wake the staff when the danger had passed. But the genocide of an entire species is a long, slow process. Years passed, decades, centuries. The Reapers persisted, and my energy reserves were dwindling. You should have fought. We were a few hundred against a galactic invasion fleet. Our only hope was to remain undetected. I began to disable the life support of non-essential personnel. First support staff, then security. One by one, their pods were shut down to conserve energy. Eventually, only the stasis pods of the top scientists remained active. Even these were in danger of failing when the Reapers finally retreated back through the Citadel relay. There were hundreds of stasis pods out there. You just shut them down? You killed them? You couldn't let everyone die. Better to sacrifice some so others could live. This outcome was not completely unforeseen. My actions were a result of contingency programming entered on my creation. I bet they didn't tell the non-essential staff about this contingency. I saved key personnel. When the Reapers retreated, the top researchers were still alive. My actions are the only reason any hope remains. When the researchers woke, they realized the Prothean species was doomed. There were only a dozen individuals left, far too few to sustain a viable population. Yet they vowed to find some way to stop the Reapers from returning. A way to break the cycle forever. And they knew the Keepers were the key. Aren't they under the influence of the Reapers? The Keepers are controlled by the Citadel. Before each invasion, a signal is sent through the station compelling the Keepers to activate the Citadel relay. After decades of feverish study, the scientists discovered a way to alter this signal. Using the conduit, they gained access to the Citadel and made the modifications. This time, when Sovereign sent the signal to the Citadel, the Keepers ignored it. The Reapers are trapped in dark space. Saren can use the conduit to bypass all the Citadel's external defenses. Correct. And once inside, he can transfer control of the station to Sovereign. Sovereign will override the Citadel systems and manually open the relay. And the cycle of extinction will begin again. I'll take Sovereign down. Somehow. There's a data file in my console. Take a copy when you go. When you reach the Citadel's master control unit, upload it to the station. It will corrupt the Citadel security protocols and give you temporary control of the station. It might give you a chance against Sovereign. Wait. Where's the Citadel's master control unit? I've never heard of anything like that. Through the conduit. Follow Saren. He will lead you to your destination. Saren's got enough of a head start. Grab that data file and let's go. Shepard, are you sure? Who knows how much longer Vigil will be here? Even now the projection is weak. This might be our only chance to speak with it, our only link to the knowledge of the Protheans. It is the opportunity of a lifetime. We're in a race to save the galaxy and you want to play Q&A with a hologram? You are right. I am sorry. My personal feelings clouded my judgment. We... we should go. The one you call Saren has not reached the conduit. Not yet. There is still hope if you hurry. Oh my god, that guy rambles on and on for fucking ever. And that was the abbreviated version. I didn't even ask him any questions. And seriously, Liara, question time at a time like this? Seriously, no.
Ah, they're all so submissive to Shepard anyway. Woohoo! Alright. Onwards to the conduit. Too close for comfort there. Sharp turn to the left. Can't see shit, and thus hit the wall. <sighs> Alright. On track. We crunch. <laughs> that was useless. This time, drive better. No. Okay, it's pretty fucking twitchy today, I think. Straight line now. All good. Whoa. Okay. There's like two guys there and then I turn the corner and Whoa, look at what we have here! A few more people. And an amateur. No, a Colossus. Not an amateur. Bloody Colossi. And I'm doing a useless job of dodging today, but oh well. No harm, no foul. Hasn't even taken out half my shields. Oh my god! You fucking serious? Shepard is drunk again, guys. Don't drink and drive. Especially a Mako, because you're pretty much fucked. And now I'm thinking what Mass Effect would be like whilst completely wasted. Interesting. Somewhat. Oh crap. Can't see shit. Oh, this is a long hallway. Aha! There, the conduit. It's incredible. We don't have time to admire the view. We have to get through that relay, and these geth aren't gonna make it easy on us. Oh crap, 40 seconds remaining! It's not very dramatic, because the Mako moves like... Well... A very slow thing. Ah, Halo 1 flashback! Except... Not as exciting.
Okay. Um, here we are on the Citadel. Doesn't look too happy, does it? No. Um, but I will leave it here, and we'll get on to dealing with this problem of Sovereign in the next uh, series of videos. So until then, hold on to your Lederhosen. Good night.